My name is Christopher Lee Brown and I'm doing a fun the movie King of the World. Welcome back to my channel. I know I already did like a quick YouTube show on this, but I'm gonna kinda give and more kinda an extended a demo a demo video on, on this. I'm pretty much gonna say the same thing while I said in a quick show, but like I said an extended type of form. And give me maybe a little more, little bit more context why I love Blood Mouse movies majority of the time but here we go the reason why Blumhouse is my favorite movie production definitely in the whole movie genre because in my opinion they make really good fun popcorn entertainment films and those type of films are my type of films that I gravitate towards to like I said some of their entertainment works still like at least two or three kind of in that type of genre entertainment just fun movies that was but it was kind of decent mm, but that was I graduated so maybe it's a generational thing because I was born in 1997 so I'm 25 years old so born in the late 90s so you could see why those bum out those kind of people say those trashy bum out those type of movies are garbage those are the Probably people who, one, who grew up watching, who grew up in the era of the 70s and 80s horror movies because they were born in that era or grew up watching those 70s and 80s horror movies at a young age, at a very young age. And those type of, those teen, teeny type movies doesn't work for them all that well. But. And it doesn't mean that I couldn't could enjoy some deal of the mind, the slow burn, there or not there type of movies like the 2000, 2022 movie Barbarian. It was it was one of my favorite horror movies in in 2022 of that year because it's coming out the 31st hopefully because I'm recording this on um, right now at one thirty in the mo morning so. But anyways, or even the, only even the movie that also came out that year, X and Paul. Even though even though those movies are overrated as fuck, I did enjoy those movies a lot, especially X. Overrated doesn't mean bad people. Maybe I could make a video why those two movies are overrated. We'll see, but. The reason why the deal of the mind and the slow burn type of movie sometimes doesn't work for me, sometimes they are really slow to me that bolts me to death. Where I doze off to sleep or I am thinking thinking some as thinking of something else. Oh um, or I have some deep seated cerebral with layers and symbolism and all that stuff. Nowadays they go ultra weird with it. And I don't like that. Maybe because my learning disability and my brain just can't go there. My brain can't can't take so much. Cause every time I see movies with like kind of have these deep layer movies, like for me, my brain just can't handle it. It feels like my I want to go psychotic, and I'm not be I'm oh I'm going I'm a serial killer, but that's how my brain just feels. We all. Our brains feel feels differently, people. So, I'm saying I'm not a serial killer. It does, it also makes me want to have a brain brain aneurysm, like real bad. I know what people will be saying. You shouldn't judge a movie because you didn't get it because it's too slow for you. Yes, I can. I grade movies by was I entertained by it and the rewatch value. Those are the two biggest things. How great movies then, but then that's how lots of probably movie critics on YouTube great movies by their entertainment value, by their entertainment value, rewatch value, all that stuff, and that's how we show all great movies, but not not because of the spectacular spectacle that that's on screen, no, because it has some really great. Deep sea characters. You shouldn't. Like, yeah, characters does make a great movie with great character performances, but over there, you know what I'm getting at. 
And sorry that sometimes I am not entertained by slow burn type of movies. Like like I said, there are some that I do enjoy. And me saying that I'm, and me saying that I am sometimes not entertained by slow burn feel of the mind type of movies is not me saying that I am smarter than you or you are smarter than me. It's saying that it's art. It is supposed to be subjective, meaning it's our taste. We all have different tastes. That's what makes us human special. If we all have the same taste, same thoughts, there will be no conversations, there will, no discussions, no talking, and that will be a boring world to live in. Would it? Wouldn't be? Wouldn't it? We shouldn't. We shouldn't be treated like robots. I know it's always fun to discuss with other people that have same movie opinions as you but for me it's always fun to discuss and listen to people with different thoughts because it's not to change your thoughts on a movie or it's, or it's not about who's right or wrong it's, it's to see other people's perspective what they got out of it and why it worked or why it worked or it didn't work for that person now back to the main topic of the video Majority of the fun, punk or entertainment type of movies do work for me. Like I said, sometimes they didn't land for me. Sometimes we just middle of the road for me. And for me, a fun, fun pop fun entertainment movie isn't like a bad movie. Like, it's god awful. Like, like I said, it's, it's people taste. Like, people say this is a fun entertainment pop movie. So be it. I'm. Lots of people don't think the stuff that I do like from Blumhouse is not entertainment or fun. But for me, it is. Like, the movie this year, lots of people didn't like the movie The Invitation, that vampire gothic movie. People saying it's boring, it's not, it's uninteresting, it's kind of not slow for them, but it's kind of generic for me. So what? Uh, I did enjoy it because it was fun. Even though I know it was a vampire movie and then set up as a vampire movie as you were watching throughout the film until the third act. But for me I got entertainment because the performances. Not the not like the greatest performances I've seen, but like the characters that they set up. The chemistry between these people. And how they was all set up. That's why I like that's for me like a, a definition as not a Blumhouse film. But like, like Truth or Dale. Truth or Dale is another example of a for me a fun pop, a fun entertainment popcorn movie. Because for me, like, is Truth or Dale the greatest movie ever? No, but like, I could have fun with it, and sometimes that why I have it the highest score one of the reasons because I'm also going to make a video why I like that movie because it feels like everyone dogs that movie even Ma people bag on Ma like people bag on those type of movies like for me I get entertainment out of those movies for some reason there's some things that can't be explained I get entertainment by those type of movies now here on first Now here are the, all the Blumhouse movies that I have seen so far. I haven't seen the, the last Blumhouse film that came out this year called The Nanny, Nanny, something like that. I have to watch that before end of the year. And it's the 31st at 1.40 a.m. right now when I'm recording this. Here are the stuff. Paranormal that I have seen. Paranormal Activity. Didn't like it. Didn't care for it. Like, like if you know me, like I'm not a fan of paranormal, ghost, those type of films. Definitely, paranormal actors boring. A boring type of movie that I didn't care for. Haven't seen any. That's the only paranormal activity movie I have seen. Uh, Insidious and same with. I think I like Insidious on my first watch over paranormal activity. I haven't seen since though. The Purge movies of 
this the Punch movie is I give it the first Punch movies a stream it no a stream it probably go go buy go go on and buy on digital on digital that's my second tier on my tier list the other Punch movies I really didn't enjoy here's the thing like I think I saw two Punch movies in the theaters. I think I saw the first Punch in the movie theaters. Then the I when I we watched when I watched the Punch the third Punch movie in the series. I think I have seen it before, but in the theaters because some there are some scenes that look familiar, like looked familiar at looked familiar to me for some reason. I know I, I haven't seen the second one. Cause I guess we watched the Punch series, been watched them like in at least in a, a two day, like a five day binge watch all the movies day by day. And when I watched it, like I know I saw the first, well I saw the second, the, cause I know I watched the the first, the first film in the Punch movies, cause that was the title called the first Punch, but the first. Put in the movie in the movie I did seen seeing on Blu ray in two thousand twenty one or two thousand twenty, something like that. But when I just watched it back in the summer of this of two thousand twenty two I binge watched all of five of them so 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 some of them are first time watches for me. And I really enjoy the definitely the 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 third one is the third one is fourth one in the series. I did really enjoy it a lot. Lots of great atmosphere to it. Um, look at all the titles. Didn't care for unfriended. Watched it the first time back in two thousand eighteen, I think. Two thousand eighteen. When the second one came out. Hold on, I'm clicking on, on Wikipedia and this stuff. On Friend and Dark Web, because I saw like, it came out 2018, yeah. Because I saw the first, the first one Friend did, like, the day of, or the day of when I saw the second one in, at home. Something like that. But I didn't care for it. You know me with my found footage movies, if I. Cause I have a video on my channel, on my channel called "Why I'm Not," something like "Why I'm Not a Fan of Horror Fan Footage Movies." My my thoughts is in that video. Didn't kill for this boring ass fuck. Well, Blumhouse done a lot of movies. Hush was a decent flick. It's all right. But I have to rewatch it again. I don't think I enjoyed it, but something that I need to see again to have an informed thoughts on it. I didn't like get out. I, I have thoughts on it, and there's gonna be a video, some similar to like get out style. It's called politics and movies. That's a video I have to do, also as well. So I'll say my thoughts on Get Out. Really enjoyed Happy Death Day. Those two Happy Death Day movies. Need to get blown out. Skin on the happy, the third Happy Death Day movies. Don't care. I don't care what people think of that. Those type of movies. It's fucking fun. People need to have fun in the movies. People say like, oh, there's some blood. But for me, I swear there are lots of good. Go scenes in Happy Death Day. I may be wrong, but it did feel violent enough. Not not the greatest kills in the world. It's kind of like Scream, because it's a like Scream type of movie. So I probably did really enjoy the first two Happy Death Day movies. True for they gonna have a video on why I like like that movie. Movie. Upgrade was decent. Love the first two 
movies than the day we go green Halloween movies. Not the not Halloween and fuck that shit. I'm I'm film I saw Cam. I'm not so I know I enjoyed it. Is that a film for this movie? It's a, I think it wasn't shot down for this because I know I I didn't see it. I kind of enjoyed that one. Us, I really enjoyed us. Kind of got two real strangers. I have I've just seen it again. I think I, I have seen it once. One, the first time when it came out in the theaters, it was an all right movie. No, all right, but I know I didn't actually enjoy it. Us. Us people didn't like that movie. So it's a better movie than Get Out. Because, say that at least. Ma, enjoyed Ma. I like the definite performance. I love the performance of Octavia Spencer. The, does a fine job. Like the other characters in the movie. Definitely the main girl. Seen it twice. I know I've seen it once in the movie theater. I know I guess we watched it back in July, somewhere in the May or May or June. I think it was, I think it was maybe August, somewhere, somewhere around that time frame. Like I really enjoyed that. I at least saw it at least once or twice at home. At least once. I know this is a boring video. Black Christmas, uh, you political stuff. I know I somewhat enjoyed it, in, but I've watched it once. I think I, I know at least one, once in the movie, you know. I have to rewatch it again. It's, it's political stuff. But, well, I did enjoy Fantasy Island. I think I like True for Dale better over Fantasy Island. Only I've seen it once in the theaters. The Invisible Man, don't. One of the two Blumhouse slow burn type of movies that I didn't enjoy is The Invisible Man. Only seen it once in the theaters. Blumhouse does a lot of films. So, yeah. I know I did enjoy The Invisible Man. The Hunt I saw in the movie theaters. For the longest time, I didn't know it was a Blumhouse film. Until like recently, just recently. But The Hunt was a good, fun, popcorn type of movie I liked. Freaky, I like The Hunt. Freaky is all right. I've only seen it once. I don't have a really in depth thoughts on that. That likes that I've only seen it once. I think the main problem is why, because I'm not a big Vince Vaughn fan. Sorry if you guys are fans of, of him, but for some, the only one movie that I did enjoy that I've seen him in was not from that Fall Christmas movie. I've seen bits and pieces of that movie, but um, Wedding Crashers. I did enjoy Wedding Crashers. Um, what else? Final Starter, I know people tear off that movie apart. I just didn't get it. I don't get a hate for it. It's. it's like, I can. There's sometimes I get people why they didn't like old things or why old white things is great or why things is bad. But some of these, like, Final Starter, fun. The only problem with it, like, because I saw. Um, I was on a Stephen King, King Bench middle of this year. And one of them, I saw the original Five Star though, in 2022. The only problem is that, like, the beginning was rushed, but they rushed the beginning, but ex they rushed the beginning, and I don't know what's the right word for it. Like, they rushed the beginning in the in the original film, but late, but then didn't, didn't rush the third act. But yeah, in the the remake, they didn't watch the beginning, but watch the ending. But in this the remake, they have more world building, and a lot of those type of movies have like a world have a world building type of movie to it. And the characters was awesome. 
definitely love the little girl. She did a fantastic job, in my opinion. Love Zac Efron. Love Zac Efron taking, because I grew up with the Disney Channel era. I saw, saw all those high school musical movies. He's been having a great career right now. Zac Efron. Definitely loved him in Dirty Grandpa. Like, don't have a problem in the middle act why it kind of dropped it down, but it's a fun, some of the most funny lines I ever heard in a comedy movie, in my opinion. Tone on, only seen it once, I know I enjoyed it, and so far it's my favorite Blumhouse movie of 2022. None of these big, these big Blumhouse type of movies that come out. Uh, dash cam, fuck dash cam in his face. Probably is my worst movie that tries and trying to. Right. And again, because it's political. Unhuman. I enjoyed it in the first watch. I don't know why. Maybe because like, when I watch it the second time, I, it's kind of. Is that we would have a real plot twist? Like, it kind of worked in a sense for me the second time around. Like. Yeah, Un Unhuman is actually a good movie. This is, I give it a go and buy on digital. So that's that. That's another one. fun entertainment popcorn type of movie that I actually kind of enjoyed. Black Phone. I may get hate for this, but like I said, I only saw this movie once when it came out in the movie theater. So saw the. Elvis and the Black Phone on the same day, so. For me, I guess didn't buy that for the Black Phone. Then for me, I feel like the ghost thing was unnecessary and it was unbelievable in my opinion. Love the settings, like, 70s, like, love the settings, the setting of the 70s. Like, the characters, definitely the girl with the foul mouth is funny as fuck. I thought she was hilarious. She stole that scene too. Also, the main boy in that movie stole that scene. movie. I saw Ethan Hawke is great, a great villain. Like I get all of that, but it's just that supernatural paranoia. Paranoia. I can't how pronounce that word, but that type of movie. I just feel like it was unnecessary, in my opinion. It didn't need that. I think that's why it dropped. Vengeance. Saw Vengeance in theater. I only saw it once. I know I... I gave it a go and buy on digital. Maybe it'll change because... The, there's some stuff that I remembered. Probably... After we watched that movie again. They then, uh, not woke ish. But for me, it's funny because the, it took a while to get some to the, some great kind of candy in that movie. I give it a go out on, on digital. Maybe that's the fairness because I'm Blumhouse fan, so I'm kind of biased on that. But I know it started towards, like, the, towards the middle act and act throughout the third act, I did enjoy it. But maybe because it was a little bit slow in the beginning. And you know my thoughts on Mr. Hagenbein's phone, The Visitor, One Sweet Hot One, Soft and Quiet. And the only thing left I need to watch to get to before end of end of this year is Nanny. So, like I said, that is my thoughts. I know we couldn't even... I'm 24 minutes in, so this is going to be a long ass video. Gives a lot of me talking and running through the Blumhouse list of movies. But like, stuff like Truthful Dale, Ma, Fantasy Island, Unhuman even. I'm going to do all the list. Even Final Star though. Some of the Purge movies. The, those two Happy Death Day movies. All for me are the type of movies Blumhouse still needs to make. I know people thought 
no more of that shit. Give me stuff like those, like stuff at like the Invisible Man or the Black Phone type of movies. Like, I know we, we should, it could be even now. But definitely no more politics in your movies, please, Blumhouse. No more politics in your fucking movies. Have some quality control, Blumhouse. But like those type of movies that I said I did enjoy, they still need to make those type of movies because it's fun. It's the type of movies that if you're in in your middle school age or even in your high school, maybe some of college your age, people enjoy. But people who who older who grew up watching and enjoying those. 70s, 80s horror type movies, they're not gonna enjoy those type of movie, horror movies like Happy Death Day or True for Death. So I kind of get it, maybe it's kind of that. And like you said, it's a generational thing. Why people don't like stuff like True for Death or Ma, because it's not, maybe it's not scary for them or creepy enough or eerie enough. Maybe it's like I said, a generational thing, but I really enjoy stuff like Happy Death, those Happy Death Day movies, Ma, Truthful Dale, The Hunt, those type of movies Blumhouse should make, in my opinion, because they are really great at doing it. But like I said, keep politics out of movies, please. We can go to movies to escape. Like I said, I'm gonna make movies on politics because there's a right way to do them and there's a Wrong way to do them. Wrong way to do them. But that would be it. Comment down if you're a Blumhouse fan. Comment down what's your favorite Blumhouse film. I know it's going. You're going to don't not going to be like. I know it's not going to be like someone like Truth or Dale or Happy Death Day. I know it's going to be like someone like the Black Phone, the Visible Man type of movies. But hey, that's what like I said in this in this video earlier. It's all subjective because it's all we see things differently. We be we are entertained by different things, and that that that's fun. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, uh, share this video, subscribe, turn on notification bell button, follow my Facebook group at Movie Fandom Kingdom Land, and that will be it. Remember, good vibes only.